Hello everybody, welcome to the Hacienda Ribbit here. It's been quite a long time since I've seen you all and I do appreciate you coming back and checking my stuff out. But anyway, it's it's good to be back, good to be, be uh, cooking some food on camera again for you. And uh, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make some Irish Spice Beef. Now, uh, this recipe comes from my boss, Wade. And Wade, you know who you are. Thanks for this recipe. I do appreciate it. What we have is a four and three quarters pound brisket. Okay, just a flat. Uh, we have in that bowl <clears throat> allspice berries, thyme, uh, cloves, juniper berries, and black tella cherry peppercorns. Um, did I say thyme? Yeah. Uh, we have brown sugar and kosher salt. And if you look down at the notes below, uh, you'll see the amounts that you need. Alrighty, so with my uh, spice grinder, I've got all those ingredients nicely uh, ground up. They're looking really nice. We're going to add the um, dark brown sugar and the kosher salt. Now, we're going to mix this up all nicely, get it uh, incorporated, and uh, then we're going to rub the uh, brisket with all it. Alright, so here's the rubbed brisket, and let me tell you, it smells fantabulous. This rub is out of this world. I almost want to take it straight out to the smoker and, and just smoke it, just like this. This is a, a perfect rub for, for a brisket, barbecue brisket. But anyway, no, I'm gonna stick with the recipe. So now we're gonna go in a Ziploc bag and uh, we'll massage it every day for seven days in the fridge. All right, it has been a week in the fridge and this baby, this brisket has been rubbed and uh, flipped every day and twice on Wednesdays. So we're fixing to uh, cook it today and I'm gonna show you how. And let me tell you, it smells fantastic. Okay, so we've got um, half a stick of butter over medium high heat and now we're gonna add the vegetables and kind of saute them until they get softened. That's uh, three onions and about three carrots. All right, about six to eight minutes later, um, over medium high heat, the vegetables have softened. Let's go ahead and uh, add the brisket and all its juices. Yum. God, the smell, the spices, the pepper, the nutmeg, the cloves. This is just an absolutely delicious scent and flavor. Okay. So there we go. All right, so now we're gonna add enough water to cover it. Uh, the recipe says about 10 cups. Um, this is a two quart container. So we're gonna call it two quarts and we're gonna bring it up to high and bring it to a boil. All right, so we now brought it up to a boil. Uh, we're gonna cover it and reduce it to a simmer and cook it for three hours. Join me then. All right, three hours in. Simmering. Now we're going to add two bottles of Guinness. We're going to cover it and we're going to simmer it one hour more. Alrighty, after a total of three hours of braising, uh, now I've gone ahead and drained out the, uh, skimmed out the vegetables through a cheesecloth and we've got the broth there. Now we're going to let this come out to uh, room temperature and we'll take the next step. All right, it's uh, out of the fridge. Uh, we pressed it overnight after putting it in a uh, Ziploc bag. Uh, it smelled delicious going in. Let's go ahead and uh, taste it cold. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so tender. Look, you can cut it with a fork and the flavors went all the way through. Oh. Delightful. Let's make a sandwich. What I got here is uh, <clears throat> two slices of uh, buttered and salted pumpernickel. Now you can make the sandwich in uh, <clears throat> with a hoagie roll and au jus, uh, but I decided to do it this way. Wade told me that this is the way he likes it, and it's a variation of it, very traditionally Irish. So I'm gonna do it. By the way, all that au, au jus um, that it cooked in, I reduced it down yesterday. It was about three quarts, down to a pint and a half. Uh, reheat it and when you cook it in a hoagie roll absolutely delicious now um, <clears throat> what I did make was some uh, caramelized onion sauteed with green pepper so we're gonna put some of that on there too just like that and wow what a sandwich let's go ahead and put it together and cut it open 
You're going to love this, people. This is actually fantastic. Where's that knife? There we go. And there you have it. Irish beef sandwich. Oh, Irish spiced beef. Absolute deliciousness. Thanks for watching, people. Really appreciate you.